Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the sign test. This is the simplest of our techniques for non-parametric statistical inference. In particular, it's a technique for testing hypotheses about the median of a data set, as opposed to the mean, which is uh, always a thing we've been testing for in the past. Um, the mean is a particularly natural um, thing to be using statistical inference on because of the central limit theorem which says that as long as n is large, the sampling distribution of the sample mean is, is always going to be approximately normal. We can do a lot of statistical inference with the median as well. Um, all of our techniques are going to center around a null hypothesis of the form m equals m0. So a hypothesis that the true population median is equal to some value m0 that, that's going to be claimed by someone. As always, with significance testing, we're going to start by assuming H0 is actually the case. I know I didn't write alternative hypotheses here. We'll get to that in a slide or two. So if the null hypothesis is true and the population really does have a median M0, then whenever we take a draw from that population, we have a 50% chance of getting a value below that M0 and 50% chance of getting a value above that M0. That's what the median is. It splits the probability distribution in half. So if we take N draws and look at the number of values we get, the number of um, draws we get below that M0, then we're talking about a binomial distribution with size N, sample size N, and a 50% probability of success on each try. That means we can compute probabilities for different numbers of values that come out less than the median. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our sample and we're going to count the number of values that came out less than the median, the hypothesized median, in our sample. If it's way far away than what we expect, then we're going to reject the null hypothesis. If it's pretty close to what we would expect, then we are not going to reject the null hypothesis. So um, to, to summarize that as our test statistic, we're going to use capital Y, the number of values in our sample that are less than the hypothesized median. If we're evaluating a one-sided null hypothesis, m less than m0, we're going to be computing the probability of getting a smaller y value than that, again, in b of n comma 0.5. If we're evaluating the other one-sided hypothesis, m greater than m0, we're going to do the probability of getting more values above the hypothesized median. Again, in B of n comma 0.5. If we're doing a two-sided hypothesis, we're going to compute the more appropriate one there, the one uh, that's appropriate to the y value being further from the median. So if it's uh, above the median, then we're going to compute the upper tail probability. If it's below the median, we'll compute the lower tail probability. And then we're going to double it. Here we're relying on the fact that b of n comma 0.5 is, is symmetric, so we can get away with that. The probabilities on each tail are going to be identical. This is all a lot more clear when we do an example. So here I have a sample of, of 10 data values, and I want to test a hypothesis that the median is actually equal to 5.5, the median of the population from which this data is taken. The alternative hypothesis will be that the median is actually less than that. And we'll test its significance level alpha equals 0.05. So my procedure is to compute this capital Y. I've got to go through and figure out how many values in this data set are actually less than the median. Here the number is 3. And I need to know what's the probability of getting a number at least that small, just by random chance, in the binomial distribution B of 10 comma 0.5. That probability is going to be the p-value of this test. Let's compute it. So p equals p of y less than or equal to 3, the probability of getting at most um, three values below the mean, below the median, sorry. The second line there, I've actually just computed binomial probabilities. So 0.5 to the 10th, sum k equals 0 to 3, 10 choose k. And when you compute that either by hand or preferably using technology, you get 0.172. So that's not a small probability in this context. It's in particular larger than the alpha that we set at the beginning of the problem, alpha equals 0.05, and so we cannot reject the null hypothesis. There is insufficient evidence to conclude that the median of the population from which we're sampling is actually less than 5.5. So what if we had been using a two-sided alternative? What if we had only cared about the alternative that 
the median was not equal to 5.5 and that we weren't assuming it was only less. So um, the idea is that the test statistic of 3 differed from the expected value of 5 by 2. So we should think about the probability of being less than or equal to 3 or greater than or equal to 7, 7 being 2 more than the median. As I said on the previous slide, um, the simplest way to do this is just to take the, the one that we've got, the y equals 3, and uh, go in the, say, get, and get the probability of having a result more extreme than that in the one direction, so probability of y less than or equal to 3, and then double it. So in this case, twice the probability we got before, 0.343. And it's off by a, um, a thousandth here because of some rounding. So obviously in this case, we still don't reject H naught.